Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trofinet, the babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Bioshock Infinite. We're at Battleship Bay, the uh, artificial bay of uh, Colombia. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of nice music playing. Uh, there's a very nice airship over there. The first lady might be important later on. Uh, and then we have, I think, the statue of Monument Island is behind the clouds over there, so we can't really see it from here, I think. Might change a bit, but I don't... Yeah, there it is, there it is. There's the wings. Uh, and then over there we can see Soldier's Field. It might be another area we can access, but that doesn't look correct. Might be a visual bug. But we're looking for Elizabeth because we lost her again. I'm just going to eat a few things along the way because we lost most of our health getting uh, chased by Songbird and dropped into the water. So uh, any health we can recover here, we don't need to do that later, later on. Blue skirt, dark hair. <laughs> Look at this one. Why don't you just sleep it off, chum? Uh, we're not drunk. We just fell down from a very, very, very big height. So let's uh, listen to this foxophone. The prophet may know how his own biography is going to end, but I can scarcely fathom how I'm going to start it. I mean, other than the kid stuff you get at the Hall of Heroes, anything prior to his baptism was, and here I quote, hang on, left on the riverside. They'll call me a plagiarist, but I'm going to spend the first 30 pages regurgitating scripture. Uh, there we go. So that's the uh, biographist that uh, Comstock hired to write his biography. And he mentions that before his so-called baptism, there's not much known about Comstock. Which is weird for such a prominent figure that his history is not known at all. Aside from a few things that are, uh, well, in scripture, as Ed Gaines hey, says. I'm looking for a young girl. <laughs> ah, who isn't, brother? Yeah, who isn't, indeed. Who isn't looking for a young girl? And there we have. That could be our ticket out of here. First Lady's Aerodrome, the First Lady Airship, is uh, President Comstock's personal airship, so uh, might be a nice uh, way to getting out of here. In style. But first, we need to find Elizabeth. Um, we're gonna go into the maintenance area over there in a second. But first, let's use the... Oh, there goes the wind and the... Yeah, the umbrella. Let's uh, check out the kinetoscope. Battleship Bay. William R. Foreman. There we go, we have a few... Uh, just, just a few images of the bay. I think that's pretty much it, if I remember correctly, because this kinetoscope just shows a, a little movie of the bay. There we go. Well, there was only that. Um, anything else here? A bit more salts, a bit more health. And let's go into the maintenance area, because I think there's a bit of money strewn around here that people still don't mind that we take for some reason. Uh, we're here. The whole thing's rigged. All I want is fair pay for an honest day's work. Okay, you're talking to me or what? There's a, a whole purse of money sitting over there and you're talking about the normal pay. Just take the purse, as I just did. More money in there. And yeah, this, uh, this is the system that keeps the bait in check. But, still looking for that lovely music. Because uh, over there, there, there's people dancing. And I think if we look... Very, very closely, you can see Elizabeth dancing over there already. But let's take a look around here first. She's not going to go anywhere. Everything's changing. People don't know their place anymore. Tell me about it. An Oriental stopped me on the street and asked me for the time. Just like that. There should be a law. I think there is. I don't think there is, and the man probably just needed the time. Which is... Well, there's nothing wrong with that, now is there? I think there's a few more... Beer? I don't need the beer, but I'm gonna take the peanuts to heal up a bit. I thought there was another item around here. Maybe you and I should go for a walk along the shore. I'm not going on any walk with you. <laughs> Your reputation is well established. Okay, because he's probably one of those lady ma ladies' men I keep hearing about. And there's machine gun ammo in between here. That is weird. But hey, more salts. Can I pick up the salts? I can. I could. Oh, oh, there we go. Ten salts. 
A pineapple from the trash can doesn't seem like that would be nice. Hmm. Look at him, ladies. It's a crime someone doesn't get him a nice set of trunks. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, ladies. Wanna... Almost like the real world, huh? Modern science. Yes, indeed. Almost like the real world. No, it's, it's fine, it's fine. I, I like my... Uh... Swap stories. Oh, you're from the uh, from the gay persuasion, are you? He, he's liking uh, he's liking Booker's uh, look there, his physical look. Scared, but I don't know how to comfort her. Comstock will take care of the fox. If he says he has a plan, then he has a plan. When has he ever let us down before? Yeah, I don't really know about that. Whether he has let you down before or not. There's more provisions over there, and there we go, there's a health kit I was looking for. I knew there was a health kit around here somewhere that put you to full health immediately. So That's I don't really need that. Populi do. Stir up the patties and the negroes. Mm, first it's labor unrest, then they're coming for you in your bed. Comstock should stomp them out. All of them cockroaches. So yeah, again, with the, the racism still going on, still going on. It's not because we destroyed Monument Island. Not that, uh, well, we didn't actually destroy Monument Island. I think Songbird did that all on his own. Hey, miss him. Elizabeth? Elizabeth? Miss? Elizabeth? Hello, I'm standing right in front of you. Here we go. Hey, miss. Miss? Elizabeth? Hello! Oh, this is wonderful! Well, come dance with me, Mr. Dwayne. I don't dance. Come on, let's go. Why? What could be better than this? How about Paris? Paris? How, I, I don't understand. How could we get there? That's where that airship's going, but if you want to stay and dance, we can... No, let's go! Come on, let's go! Come on, let's go right now! So, uh, yeah, a bit sad. We're gonna lie to Elizabeth. It's hard to believe, but it's true, isn't it? Oh, can you smell that? I've never smelled anything like that before, have you? Beaches I know don't smell much like that. Because that's indeed, uh, the music has changed, by the way. And it uh, changed to a very familiar song, if you uh, recognize it. Because it's girls just want to have fun. Playing by, uh, yeah. And how do you say that in English? You know what the, mu the, the music instrument is. And I love this beach just for the little animations that uh, Elizabeth does here. Don't laugh. Uh, we're not laughing, so she tries the Powerball here, and then I think she actually joins in with these guys as well. Do you know this artificial beach was built in only six months? And how do you know that? From one of the books I threw at you. They also served passing well for reading. <laughs> I always found it interesting that she, uh, the first thing Elizabeth does uh, to Booker is throw books at him, which is fitting regarding his name. Aren't we the well-to-do types? Oh, oh! So, so she's uh, remarking the fact that we stole from the the basket over there. So we're looking around. I don't love her anymore. <sighs> it amazes me how many men I've met ocean. have the slightest idea who they really It's just are. a set of elaborate pumps and rain catchers. That's a lot of water for just rain catchers. So let's continue on, because once we go through here, there's no turning back. Because I think the game even tells you that. Or not. Or not. Mr. Duet, Comstock. I've read about him. They say he can see the future. Give a man a little power. He falls in all kinds of love with himself. I don't like his look. Do you dislike the look of the prophet? Or his gaze? Can we leave now? Yeah, I think we should leave our opinions to ourselves for now, because those people don't... Uh, Probably don't like people that dislike the prophet. There's another maintenance area over here, which I'm gonna check in a minute, but I know. Is there a problem with me checking the cash register? Not for now. Let's go into the maintenance area over here. Employees only. More pumps, but I think. Yeah, there's money over here. Fall into the water did you no favors. I'll keep an eye out for something that might ease your pain. There's a wallet over there. Yeah, there we go. I saw it. I saw it. 
And uh, Elizabeth just mentions that she'll, uh, God damn it, she'll look out for us uh, during fights as well and throw us items that can help us out. So there's a bit more salt to fill that back up. There's no voxophones in here, so let's just head out. Let's just continue on our way. I think we're going to Soldier's Field next, the area we could see. Is there? Oh. Well, this is not creepy at all. Um, okay then. Very, very creepy. Trash can. Going up. Oh, that's a lovely balcony. Overseeing what is not the sea. And then uh, we're getting close to another uh, very, very cool scene. Uh, let's leave all that over here. Let's take a look around here. And then... Mr. DeWitt here. There we go. Or the cage. Or perhaps the bird. Nothing beats the cage. He's still again. How do you... So they keep... Never mind. So they keep uh, moving forward to in front of us. They keep ending up in front of us, which isn't so weird at the moment because we had a few detours so they, so they uh, could have easily managed their way up here so the only thing weird for now is that we saw them on the telescope and not in real life after we uh, exited the telescope but now the bird or the cage look at these they're amazing which one do you like more this one or or this the bird is beautiful and the cage is somber but there's really something special about it i mean I just can't decide i always choose the bird because the one on the right even though this sure? seems like sure. a very important choice, it is it. not at all. Surprising. The only thing... The cage. If you're going to be a sore loser, then I shan't do this again. Now that's just sophistry. Oh, so there we go. My God. But they've disappeared. Yes. Look, oh, they've me. disappeared. But right? not... in the meantime, get out of here. the clouds have dissipated and everybody now starts to panic because Monument Island has been oh, destroyed. Right. So everybody is freaking out because their lamb, their, well, their reason to exist is uh, probably gone. They think it's completely gone. Elizabeth has gone. Because they don't know how she looks, so this is why uh, Elizabeth can just walk around here. Because nobody know knows how Elizabeth actually looks. So uh, let's try to leave. you have a piece of photographic identification ready for presentation. Put those arms up now. Fingers apart. Legs apart. Stand still. Now hold steady. So the funny thing is over here. There. Their, uh, Just the thing. Come on. their uh, description is still a mulatto dwarf or um, an, an Irishman. Yeah, it's still it's still the same crappy description. So we don't seem uh, don't all that pressed all to uh, run away one. here. Did you hear about the statue? My God, Look at what's this one. He's suspicious if you ask me. And be done with it. All right, all right. What quiet down there, Pete. Let's go home and dry yourself. So this guy just uh, calls us out, but uh, since he's drunk, nobody's really paying attention to him. This door is locked. Ah, damn things locked. But as we know already from uh, what, what we've seen it? of Elizabeth you before, what does it look like? she knows how to pick locks. There we go, Where'd the roguish type. Locks. Trapped in a tower with nothing but books and spare time? <laughs> you would be surprised what I know how to do. So, uh, as I said before, the only thing that changes because of your decision to uh, either take the bird or the cage is uh, that the medallion that uh, Elizabeth is wearing just changes. Um, which is interesting, because the bird in the cage is more symbolic than anything else. Because, of course, the bird is free and Elizabeth was in a cage before, kind of indicating whether she wants to stay that way or not. I must take any task with more than the slightest complexity. Or they simply leave it in ruins for me to clean up later. Hello, Mr. Uh, Mr. Cleaning oh, Man. Hello, sir. Don't you pay me no never mind. Just some foolishness, you know. <laughs> Just monkey shines. Ah, oh, don't worry about it, man. I know what you said, but I kind of agree with you even. Let's take all the money here. Again, a lot of money just lying around right next to working people. And they don't seem to mind. And that sounds interesting. Hey, I found these silver eagles. There's a vending device over there. There might be something to bring you back to health. It's probably a good idea. So uh, every once in a while, Elizabeth's gonna throw us item, which includes uh, money, just money. Uh, she's gonna throw us salts and uh, health during combat as well. I think, can I actually? No. 
Because I don't really need anything from this vending machine. Um, let's continue moving over here. There we go. Just gonna loot everything. Try asking the girl a few key questions. Such as, don't you think those Vox Populi folk have a valid complaint against the Prophet? See this? And I'm sure some of your friends have attended meetings. I'd sure like to see what they're all about. Now, back to the music. So that's the uh, radio announcer just, well, using simple questions to see whether uh, one of your, uh, well, acquaintances is actually secretly a Vox Populi or not. Let's look at this gear. New pants, urgent care. Decrease shield recharge delay by one second. Increase shield recharge rate by two times. So that means our shield comes back sooner and it recharges a lot quicker. So let's compare that with, it's either Hatmaster or uh, Urgent Care. Since we don't really have uh, very, very dangerous enemies for now, I'm just gonna go with uh, Hatmaster first. But let's uh, listen to a voxophone from a very important person, Daisy Fitzroy. When I first seen Columbia, that sky was the brightest, bluest sky that ever was. Seemed like heaven. Then your eyes adjusted to the light, and you saw that sea of white faces looking hard back at you. So there we go, a first uh, voxophone from Daisy Fitzroy herself, the leader of the uh, of the Vox Populi herself. Do not speak to the patrons unless spoken to first, and always address patrons as sir and madame, which is of course again very, very racist, but. Here we have an interesting couple. Hey, mister. We'd like to help you. Do I know you? Back at the lottery, you... Without you, we wouldn't have gotten away. Daisy always said somebody like you would come along. So this is the couple that was, uh, well, imprisoned, well, tied up at the raffle and fair that you could throw a ball at. If you would have chosen to throw the ball at them, even though they stop you before it happens, um, yeah, they uh, wouldn't be here. To help you out with another piece of gear. Brittle skins. Melee targets briefly are briefly and invulner uh, vulnerable. Jesus. Victim takes twice the damage for five seconds. Let's. So again, instead of Headmaster, which is sad, but I'm just gonna take it then. So thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, then we have another interesting thing. The bathrooms are, uh, well, separated. Which is to say, there's a colored and Irish ba bathroom and, uh, well, washroom. As they say here and we can actually check that out because uh, I think there's a few items over here it's technically I think yeah this is the ladies room and it appears like uh, Elizabeth doesn't really mind but if we go in here no place for you sir you best be on your way or there's gonna be trouble for us both yeah this is the uh, ladies room but this is weird father of lies you see nothing so again, of course, the people here don't really like the uh, please, sir, prophet. Please, they find you here. Blame's gonna fall on me. Yes, indeed. I'm sorry, sir. We're gonna leave you alone because there's absolutely nothing in the uh, bathrooms over there. Mind your manners amongst your betters. But now we're uh, almost. Well, we're actually in the souvenir shop uh, of Dimwit and Duke. Dimwit and Duke is uh, something very, very interesting because it's another way that um, the prophet is trying to, well, instruct the children of Colombia to uh, the morals, the, the, the virtues of Colombia itself. So let's take a look at the Skulking Stranger. Are you a Duke? Or a Dimwit? Hey, Wallace Blaylock. It's the newest one in the series. He them to his I'd like to be straight away. When Dimwit sees a suspicious looking character, he ignores him and focuses on his new scooter. Remember, boys and girls, don't be a dimwit. So Duke, Dimwit, and Duke. So there's a, a four of them, or three of them. There you go, little miss. Can candy here. It's your can candy. Yeah, enjoy, Elizabeth. Then we have the flawless flint look. So it was delayed three times, Elizabeth says. Because they were trying to rework uh, whatever they want to put in this message here. Oh, 
don't be a dimwit. And then the last one is the Patriot's proud pose. Just want to show them all, because they're, they're a, again a very telling sign of how Colombia works. Don't be a dimwit. There we go. So uh, Elizabeth checking out the cabinets as well. Then tin soldiers on sale. Um, which is interesting as well because there is a lot less dukes on the stands left compared to the dimwits. Because of course they're promoting uh, dukes instead of dimwits. She's not well. What do you mean not well? As in one stork, no husband. Hmm. She should disappear for a few months to Finkton, or some place like that, and then come back. No one would be the wiser. Okay, they're even friendly towards each other. Um, I think we eventually need to go over there to the Hall of Heroes, uh, but I'm gonna check out the bathrooms here. Why is one bathroom for colors and the other for whites? It just is. Seems like an unnecessary complication. It is, but uh, yeah, you're gonna see some weird stuff. So let's go in here. You in there. there we go. So Elizabeth doesn't. This is what I was talking about. So Elizabeth doesn't want to come into the men's room. Let's pick up the voxophone. As a boy, I had a dog named Bill. Like all dogs, Bill was a little. Right in there. Everything's fine. Bill would have been loyal. If we had struck him, Bill would have been loyal. Only when the colored man can make that claim will he take his place in society. So according to Comstock, the colored man should stay loyal to the white man even when struck. So again, again, I'm going to continue to say this, but very, very racist. I don't think there's anything in the ladies' room. Are you trying to get us both arrested? Maybe a bit of money. There we go. Um, and then we have this locked off area mostly. Okay. There we go. Thank you, Elizabeth, for more coins. So, I think it's based on which areas you enter when she gives you more money. So, if we wouldn't have entered over here, she wouldn't have given us that coin because she finds it over here. But then, another kinetoscope. Solving the Irish problem. Meet the drunk, the laggard. So, uh, looking at a bit of footage of uh, poor people. Meet the strumpet, his broodmare. Together they manufacture future Vox Populi people. Send them to me, says Jeremiah Fink at Fink FMG. So, uh, Finkton, we've heard that a few times. They'll work or by gold die trying. We've heard the name Finkton a few times already to send uh, people over there if they're not uh, nice. And Finkton is uh, sort of the working area where the uh, poorer people live as well. And uh, where Fink, Jeremiah Fink, the man we saw at the very beginning, the one who uh, almost tried to have us killed, um, well, uh, has his uh, seat of power. The of our country. He chopped down the cherry tree. He crossed the Delaware. On bended knee, he accepted the sword from the Angel Columbia. Come on, folks. Show your allegiance to flag and to the nation. So Marvel history the comes alive. Knee, the motorized patriot. Holy prophecy, an Eden floating in the mist, by man forsworn, by heaven kissed. Well, there we go. So uh, that's the motorized patriots. I have a feeling we're gonna see more of them later on. Here we have the Hall of Heroes, sponsored by Shock Jockey. Uh, I think there's nothing left here aside She's from that trash can. Yeah. At a newspaper. Well, that's the modern woman, I suppose. Doesn't make it right. So she is working, uh, indicating that woman, women uh, in Colombia are not necessarily, well, Annabelle? working women. Excuse me? Annabelle, it's me, Esther. Oh, no, I'm not Annabelle. Are you sure? My name is Elizabeth. Do I know you? Elizabeth? Isn't that a lovely name? <laughs> that was odd. Indeed, Elizabeth, that was very old. So let's go through the turnstiles. Park's closing. Park's closing, everyone. Okay. So that's uh, the final time we can go in here, apparently. Yeah. These shoes sure could benefit from a shine. Guess I haven't paid much attention. 
Indeed. So, uh, yeah, that was a weird woman calling Elizabeth Annabelle for some reason. Um, we need a ticket to go to uh, up to Soldier's Field because we saw that. I just swapped that. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. So these are starting to feel a little strange. We had that woman walking in front of us still. And then we have that man calling us out for some reason. Um, there's a lot of people in the station here. But there's something uh, off. Have you got sauerkraut? Sauerkraut? Uh, I guess so. I'll take um, one, please. How much? Um, one silver eagle. <laughs> All right. So that was a weird conversation, because the the hot dog stand man, stand man didn't really know whether he has sauerkraut or not, and nothing seems to be exchanged here, which is which is very weird now, isn't it? Let's take a look around here, because we might actually pick up some you more uh, some more interesting conversations. So this woman is still here, powdering her nose. Excuse me, Esther, because she has a name. It's one of the only. Civilians over here that has a name. Um, he's carrying something. He's with her. Sure. We can get both apples with a single pick. Mm -hmm. So there we go. This man is on the telephone and apparently nothing good is going hey. on because they know we're here. Um, which is also explains hey. why the music is stopped. Let's uh, ring Excuse the me. bell. Two tickets for passage to the First Lady airship. Yeah, just a minute, friend. Yeah, I have it. How do you, uh, want to proceed? In a bit of a rush, pal. Hey, mister. You're gonna get mustard mm -hmm. all over your nice suit. I got it. I'll ring you back once the matter's in hand. I don't like this. Yeah, send yep. bird. So we can demand right, tickets or draw a weapon. Let's demand tickets. Excuse me, can I get some help here? Certainly, sir. Sorry about the wait! Ah! Ow. What are you doing? Get Ow. the girl! Knife. Get off of me! So there we go. Knife in our hand. Ouch. Let's throw a... Uh... There we go. We killed all of them. But now that Elizabeth is seen as killing people, She's starting to freak out and is running away. So everything is closing up and we have ourselves a new weapon. Let's pick up the shotgun. There we go. And we double killed with uh, one uh, sh shotgun blast here. I really love the shotgun in this game. So there we go, that was an ambush, which is uh, one of the first times we really have something like this going on. So uh, we're not really incognito anymore, they started to uh, recognize us at on site, uh, which is going to make things a lot harder of course. I'm just going to loot the place and I'll get back to you in a second. So this is also the first time we really have this problem, but uh, we can only carry two weapons. Um, which is of course a lot different than we did uh, we had before in uh, Bioshock. I'm actually just gonna shut off the radio over here. So that's the Ticket Man. Hello Ticket Man. So we can only carry two weapons, which is for now I'm gonna use the machine gun and the shotgun. Um, but let's check out his uh, desk here first. Let's play the audio log from Esther. This is the moment we trained for. The False Shepherd is here. The day was not exact, but the Prophet's sight proves out again. The specimen must be taken alive. If she dies, I suspect they will give us to the bird. And whatever pieces it leaves behind will bear no names. That was cigarette number six. This waiting is insufferable. So uh, Esther Mailer was the uh, special agent of Columbia tasked to it, uh, well, taking out us, the false shepherds. So she knew we were coming and uh, she was talking about Elizabeth as the specimen still, so uh, which is interesting. Uh, and when she failed, they were gonna give her to the bird, talking about a f for about the songbird. Columbia security protecting our faith, wealth and racial purity. I kid you not, racial purity is one of the things 
the police officers here are focused on preserving. Interesting, isn't it? And Where still very, very racist. Um, more and more um, advertising for Shock Shocky. I'm just gonna go in here first, because this is the back of the ticketing booth, and if you uh, noticed, there was an infusion over here. Let's pick that up and go for um, salt. Let's go for salt. Perfect. There we go. Perfect indeed. More coins in the cushion. So there we go. Ticketing booth cleared out, especially the infusion is the most handy thing here. Is this another door? Yeah, I thought there was another area here as well. Because if you go down here, I think there's another Voxophone. Might be completely wrong as well. Yeah, there we go. From Comstock himself. As the months and years turn to memories, so did the men of Congress turn to righteousness. And through the technology of men, the dollars of Washington, the Lord worked his will upon Columbia and raised her high above the Sodom below. Not saying that much, but uh, at least you heard it now. I think that's pretty much it. The fiddle case. Oh, there's a lot of money in the fiddle case. That uh, poor artist made a lot of money and now I'm stealing all of it. I'm sorry. I'm gonna need it for upgrades later on. Uh, anything else? I don't think so. So let's go towards the station, which is where uh, Elizabeth is waiting for us. Just stay where you are. Well, not really waiting for us, but uh, yeah, she's she's kind of freaking out. Get away from hey, me! Hey, come back here! She can't go anywhere, so I'm not in a rush at the moment. Uh, and as you can see, this thing is also powered by uh, Shock Jockey. So it runs exclusively on Shock Jockey. But there we go, let's go talk to Elizabeth. You know what, before we go in here, because she's trying to activate the lever, but she can't. I'm going to take a little break. So when we get back, we're going to go uh, up all the way up there to Soldier's Field. But before that, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys, Nolte, for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And, uh, well, see you guys next time. Goodbye.